Hello, my mindful yogis, it's Mike. Okay, today I'm gonna do a 20 minute modified journey into power, fire flow. So we're gonna move. There'll be like one breath per pose mostly, but it's not gonna be just stuck to that. And yeah, going through as much of the sequence as we can, building up a little bit of sweat, building up a little bit of heart rate, and uh, taking some time at the end to wind down and rest, okay? So move into child's pose to start. Get your breath, set up that foundation, feel your feet, feel your hands. Breathe as quickly as you can. Starting to get present. Ujjayi breath through the nose. Fire it up. Long breaths. Loud breaths. Full breath in. Full breath out. Downward facing dog. Just feel out the first down dog, right? Like getting your body present to the flow. It's gonna come, right? Like getting open here. If there's any tightness, just create awareness around it. Work with it, accommodate it. Ragdoll the top of your mat, step forward. Feet hip distance apart. And let your upper body go for just a moment here. We're gonna move, right? But don't get ahead of yourself. And these moments of rest that are gonna pop up, stick with the rest, yeah? Stay present to that. Generate more of it as you can. Keeping that momentum, keeping that strength to carry you forward. Breathe in. Press your feet down, lift your tailbone, fingertips to your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Halfway lift, fold, extended mountain pose, reach to the ceiling, hands to heart center, gaze to the fingers, we'll take one ohm, breathe in. Sweep up and fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen. Step back, high plank, hold it. Take a breath in. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog, lift your thighs. Press the tops of the feet. Downward facing dog, hips back. Full breath in, full breath out. Press down. Activate muscles, pull them into the bones. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, squeeze in. Hop or step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, lengthen. Fold. Extended mountain, up and back. Belly muscles, pull in. Fold forward, hug to your thighs. Halfway, belly strong, pull it in. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Keep that engagement, hug to center, lift up. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lift up. Bend. Hopper step. Flat back. Fold. Extended mountain up. Back. Reach every finger. Fold forward. Hug into the legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower down. Upward facing dog, lift yourself up. Downward facing dog, hips back. Right away, under your toes. Bend your knees, pause, empty your lungs completely. Hop, flat back, fold forward. One more, extended mountain, your biggest back bend. Fold, hug, squeeze in, flat back. Chaturanga Dandasana, move. Lift your breath, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Starting to generate a bit of heat. Use your breath to help with that. Inhale, press down, lift up, bend, hopper step, flat back, fold. Mukhatasana chair. Stay, 
reach up, lengthen, and fold. Flat back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, lift your thighs. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Breathe in to lift up. Hold it, lunge deeper. Lengthen the upper body, reach, go back. Chaturanga Dandasana, move with your breath. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Fire it up, feet, fingers, stay. One more breath, reach. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Full breaths. In. Out. Lift up. Bend. Pause. Spring forward. Flat back right away. Fold. Chair, one breath. Fold. Flat back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Move with your breath. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Use one inhale. Go up. Go back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Float your right toes. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Feet. Core. Hands. Full body. Chaturanga Dandasana. Left toes hover on the way. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up. Bend one more. Hop forward. Flat back. Fold. Find your breath. Utkatasana. Sit as deep as you can. Uttanasana. Fold in. Flat back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Press the floor. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. Ground. Reach. Chaturanga Dandasana. Float your right toes. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Last one here. Breathe in. Reach. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana. Move with your breath. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Onto your toes. Bend your knees. Step forward. Halfway lift. And fold. Chair twist to the right. Sit down. Integrate shoulders. Integrate core. Take a breath in. Twist the upper body. From here, Moving the crescent lunge twist, just the left leg has to move. Lift the left heel, step the left foot back, stay here, breathe, and twist. In, out, one more. Twist deeper, warrior two, open it up. Lengthen your stance, you have to take a longer stance, more work in the legs, sink down, breathe in, breathe out, flip and reverse, Extended side angle. Big breath in. Reach those left fingers up. Inhale here. Gaze down. Plant the right hand flat on the mat. You're going to move to side plank, okay? So come back with the right foot. Can be knee down. Can be legs straight. Two breaths in and out. Lift. Expand. <laughs> flip your dog into, sorry, flip bum into wild thing. Take that left foot back. Lift the right hip bone up so you're on your left. Tippy toes, your right pinky toe edge, and then lift, reach, take a breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Lift onto your toes, bend your knees, hopper step forward, flat back, and fold. Chair twist. The left, stay in the movement here. Find your pose, find your breath. Activate shoulders, core. Fire up that left leg, really work it. Lightly step the left foot, or sorry, the right foot back. Yeah, crescent lunge twist. If it's a little unstable, set it up. Find stability here, a couple of breaths. Lift the back heel, twist, in and out. 
warrior two. Open it up. Set it up. Foundation of feet, core, hands. Strong. Breathe. Lunge deeper. Stay here. Hold it. Flip and reverse. Extended side angle. Breathe here. Keep that lunge in the front knee for a couple of breaths. Twist. Stretch out the side body. One more big inhale. Clamp the left hand down. Side plank, left foot back. So for wild thing, lifting up the top leg, bend the right knee, step your right foot behind you, and then reach your right fingertips forward. That left hip bone is trying to lift up. Two more breaths, like flip dog, just a little different. Reach and lift, take an inhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, take a full breath out. Pedal out your knees, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, hop forward, flat back, and fold. Do that again, flat back, fold forward, sweep all the way up, tree on the right side. One balancing pose, yeah? Get present, get grounded here. That bottom foot, press it down. The lifted foot, ground it, press it into your leg. Resist that, push your leg back into the foot. Any variation, grow, reach. Breath in, breath out, one more, and release, switch sides. Take tree on the left, any variation of the legs, just set it up, get into it, right? Like not working too much to make it perfect, not fixated on one specific point in the pose, you're just in it, expanding, growing your tree. Possibility, where can you go? Two more, in and out, last breath, lift, Lengthen and release. Sweep up and fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Open to two. Trikonasana, straighten the front leg, reach forward, come down. Now if you're putting your hand on your leg, push your leg up into your hand, but ideally a block is better. Just taking some space. Open the side body, reach and twist. Come all the way up. Turn your toes in a quick fold here. Fold over your legs. Hands can come down. Any variation here, but only for a couple of breaths. So don't get too far ahead. If you want a headstand, do that like purposefully. Come up and then down. One more breath here. Hold it. Come all the way up. Triangle facing the back of your mat now. So turn your toes, left toes face to the back. Right toes face to the side and then come into triangle here. Grab your block if you need it. Open up the front of the body. Reach up the top fingers. Twist. Breath in. Breath out. One more big reach. Stay. Come all the way up to stand. Turn your toes to face the front of your mat. Pyramid. Step in. Back foot forward. Fold over that front leg. Halfway left. Fold even deeper, flat back, switch your feet, left foot forward, right foot back, pyramid, fold, couple breaths, halfway lift, fold down, one more length in the spine, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, come forward to high plank, Lower down nice and slow. We'll lower to our belly for the count of five. Keep the elbows hugging in. Strong arms, strong core. Three, two, and one. Release down. Right away into locust pose, okay? So arms go back. Lift up chest, arms, legs, everything lifting up. Integrate shoulders. Integrate core. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Another one. Interlace the hands here. Stay up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Stay here for three breaths, in and out. Bend your knees, option floor bow. Just one big breath, kick back and expand it. And then release, come all the way down. Upward facing dog, keep moving. 
Yogi, almost there. Downward facing dog. Pedal out the knees. Come through onto your back. Bridge or wheel? It's one today. So take whatever you need. If it's bridge, put the block under your back if you want that kind of support for a moment of rest. If it's a wheel, like you go right up. Together, lift. Find your feet, find your hands. Find your core, full body expression. We'll do 10 breaths. Any variation, if you're up, stay up, yeah? And if you have to come down, go back up if you can. Right, don't check out. You've done all this work this last like 16 minutes. Just peek it right here. Press down. Find your fullest expression of a back bend. Maybe lifting a foot off the ground. Maybe doing little push-ups. Maybe going up and down a couple times. Whatever you've got. A few more breaths here. In and out. Lift and squeeze. Take a full inhale. Stay for your exhale. Last breath right here, press and lift. Come all the way down. Supta, Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together. Good work, Yogi. Land here, close your eyes. Right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart. And just breathe. Slow your breath. in, full breath out, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, press your heels straight up to the ceiling, hands behind your head, scissor legs, lower your left heel one inch off the mat and alternate for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, Seven, keep the shoulders lifted, elbows wide. Four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Push your heels up. Hands under the low back, breathe in. Lower down a third. Fill up. Down a third, you got it, yogi. Squeeze in, feel that. Top boss, that fire. One inch off the mat. Look at your toes. Point your toes, little flutter kick for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Hug in. Take a breath. Let it go. Grab the backs of your knees. Rock up and down a few times. Come up to Navasana. Hold here for three breaths. Last little fiery kick here. Lift the chest. Draw the shoulders back. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Any variation of your boat pose. Take it on wherever you can go. Core is strong. One more, lift the chest, and then roll. Make your way into a hip pose. If you want to stay on your back and do thread the needle, do that, yeah, or um, half pigeon is an option here. Come into that. Just set it up. If you're still looking for fire, keep the back knee lifted off the mat in half pigeon, yeah, so that'll still be a little bit of work. Activate your core. If you want the fire, right, you can keep work here happening. There's still a hip pose happening and there's still a bit of work happening in that left leg and core. You can bring the knee down and just take a restorative half pigeon. Make the most of it, land here. Breathe. Not feeling rushed, not feeling like, you know, like what's the point, you know, all of that kind of stuff can come up. Instead, make the most of these few breaths that you've got. Really let the breath wash over you. Let it create a little bit of a release. Notice the tension, find it. Let it go. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath and then you'll switch sides without rushing, okay? So just let yourself kind of take your time, move to your other side. Half pigeon, or thread the needle, or any hip pose for about five breaths or so, a little bit more maybe than that. Just land. And breathe, feel the stretch, feel the opening. If you want extra juicy hips, I did a frog practice yesterday, so you can definitely feel your hips if you check into that. I'll put a link for it up here if I remember, yeah. 
Just balancing it out. Work hard, challenge yourself, create fire, and then some days maybe just a bit of restoration, a bit of softness. That's what do what you need. Breathe in. Breathe out. Both feet out in front of you. Sit up tall. Draw your sit bones to the back of your mat. Make that space there. Fold over your legs. Breathe in. Tuck a bit deeper. One more. And come onto your back. Ten breaths in an inversion. Any variation? Waterfall, shoulder stand. If you want a headstand now, go for it. Yeah, but just make the most of it. Feel the full ten breaths. Like, ten breaths can feel like an instant. Ten breaths can feel like an eternity, right? It really depends on the intention you put on it. Where's the focus? Release and rest. Soften it. Ease. Create it. Good to work hard. Good to challenge yourself. It's so important to balance it with rest. Self-care. in shoulder stand you can move through plow and death man's pose if you're headed there just a couple more breaths wherever you are breathe in breathe out one more and then let your feet come down no rushing here remove the block if you had it under your back left leg long right knee into your chest Take a supine twist, draw the right knee across your body, take a breath in, shoulders on the ground, really stretch out, lengthen, twist, breathe in and out, come back through center on your next inhale, switch sides, right leg long, left knee into your chest, yeah, draw it across the body, keep both shoulders on the mat, breathe here. Deep in that twist, a little more. One more full breath cycle. Feel it, stretch it out. Knees to center. Give yourself a last squeeze, hug in, and release. Shavasana. Close your eyes. And just resting for a moment. Let your body land. Feel the sweat, feel the heartbeats. And slow it down. Take a big breath in, open your mouth, let it go, <sighs> wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a full body stretch, reach up, lengthen your body, and then roll onto your right side, and up to a seated position, just taking your time, don't rush, keep your eyes closed. Sit up tall, hands at your heart center. We'll finish the practice like we began it with an ohm. Breathe in. Oh. Thumbs to your forehead center. Together we bow and say namaste. Thank you, yogis. I hope that you got a little bit of sweat on there, a little bit of fire. Check it out. There's um, a lot of stuff you can do, some fiery flows, some, um, some restorative flows on the channel. Please subscribe. Please share this with anybody you like it. And um, I will see you again really soon. Keep moving your body. Keep nourishing your body. And stay connected to your yoga practice. Have an awesome rest of your day.